when I had done chemotherapy and steroids for stage four kidney failure, I was able to get stabilized and uh, and not be in kidney failure. My GFR normalized, but I still had protein in my urine for 12 years. But after three months of doing the protocol, the goodbye lupus protocol, I had no protein urea ever again. And it's been 17 years. What do you say about high protein in urine and high GFR lupus symptoms? So when you've got protein in your urine, protein in your urine comes from damage to the kidneys. And the reason for that is your kidneys are much like the screen of your window, right? Their job is to be a filter. So in your window, you have a screen and the purpose of that screen is to let air in, but not the flies, right? Uh, they're small enough that the flies can't get in, but large enough that the air can get in. Well, with your kidneys, it really is supposed to be filtering out electrolytes, sodium, potassium, things like that. Water can flow through easily, but protein molecules are very large and you need to have some kind of a rip or tear in the kidney in order to have a protein that comes through and into the urine. So if you have protein in your urine, then you are experiencing damage to your kidneys that's creating that opening. Now that can happen even if your GFR is still high. So your GFR that is glomerular filtration rate. That tells you how effective your kidneys are at still doing their job, which is the filtering of all the electrolytes. So for a lot of people, they can have these rips and tears that show protein in their urine and early kidney disease and still have a normal GFR, which is a good thing, you want that. But over time, it can then develop into chronic kidney disease where you have kidney failure, GFR drops. So the goal is, especially you mentioned it's lupus related, goal is, get on the program, do the hypernourishment protocol, get your kidneys healthy, reverse that lupus, and the protein urea should go away. Most of the time it goes away completely. There's a possibility that if you have some tears that scarred over, that you could have continued protein urea after that. But I've seen really good results that way, even for myself, when I had done chemotherapy and steroids for stage four kidney failure, I was able to get stabilized and uh, and not be in kidney failure. My GFR normalized, but I still had protein in my urine for 12 years. But after three months of doing the protocol, the goodbye lupus protocol, I had no protein urea ever again. And it's been 17 years. So even though it had been a dozen years with lupus and protein urea, I was still able to heal up all those holes no more housewives. So it's still worth doing no matter what. Hopefully that helps all of you guys understand that better.